I've just got some random foods near my feet. <laughs> I'm just trying to get as many food labels as I can. <laughs> So again, I think it's important to understand food labels uh, yeah, before we do anything else, like I said, I think they look way more complex and sort of people just ignore them. There's a couple of things that you need to look out for. So usually on the back and all three of the things I've grabbed have different nutrition labels on them, which is again, good, annoying, but also another reason why Typical. it can be quite confusing, right? That everything is not just down the line. So we've got bagels and protein and some wraps. So you'll have a per serve, or per quantity, and then you'll have per 100 grams, usually. And this is where people can get caught out. So, say the calories on a crisp, for example, were 100 calories, but there are 2.5 servings per bag, that's actually 250 calories. Okay, and this is, it's just a market employee, right? That's the simple thing, it's a market employee. And then you think less. you're doing great, like, great, it's so 100 calories for this whole bag of crisps, and then you eat it, it's not, it's 250. You see that with cakes, and even with like, and I'm, I'll be honest, some of the portion sizes, like, who are you kidding? You ever, took, yeah. you ever poured out, like, um, a recommended serving for, like, cereal? Oh, it's nothing. Oh, my God. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. What was it over Easter? It's like, um, oh, what's the, I didn't think it was anything, but it seems that I'm a chocolate cake for a family of five. <laughs> <laughs> you get what you pay for. If you're, if you buy a cheap, a really cheap version of anything, really, they're going to, whoever's producing it or making it is looking to cut costs at all angles so don't expect it to either taste amazing or sit well with your body like there's so many people who have had protein in the past and they've always tried to save a little bit of money and they always come and say oh yeah i've had protein shakes in the past but it really upsets upsets my stomach i can't tell you how many people we've got to try chew and they've had no stomach issues at all, you don't feel bloated, like it's mixes and sits really well when you drink it. Um, but that goes down to like, you know, good companies invest in the process of making sure it's things are done really, 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 really well. And like James said, there's bugger all ingredients. You know, it is what it is. 